So I had a lot of people asking me, how do you get Serum's wavetables into Vital? Well, I'll show you today. All right, so if you have Serum open, the easiest way to do this is go to the menu on the top right and then go to the option Show Serum Presets folder. If you click on it, then Windows Explorer will open. It'll show you all the presets and wavetable folders. So notice the path of this folder. It's under Documents, Exfer, Serum Presets. And then there's a subfolder called Tables. If you go under Tables, this is where all the wavetables are found. So here's the analog wavetables. And notice they are all wave files. So just remember this path because we're going to use it when we go into Vital. So Documents, Exfer, Serum, Presets, Tables. It may be different for you, which is why you need to go into the menu and show Serum Presets folder. Now, once you have Vital open, click on the drop down under the Wavetable browser. So here. And then notice there's an option for Add Folder. So click on Add Folder. And here's where you're going to have to specify the Serum Wavetable folder. So remember, it's under your Documents, Exfer Records, Serum Presets, and Tables. And then click OK. And now notice that there is a subfolder called Tables here. If you click that, then you'll find all the Wavetables. Now, if you want them categorized, you could add each subfolder individually. So for example, instead of adding the tables folder, you could go into your documents again, X for records, serum presets, tables. And for example, I may want the analog in its own folder. So click analog and click OK. So now I have the analog on its own. We'll do the same for the other ones. Here's the digital one. Okay, there, I put the analog wavetables, digital spectral. So now you can use it in Vital, which is pretty cool. So I hope that helps. And if you guys are tuning in for the first time, my name is Stranger, and I do music production tutorials around bass music, especially drum and bass, UK bass, UK garage, and all that good stuff. So if you like what you see, then make sure you hit the like and subscribe channel for more content from me. By the way, I have a beginner's tutorial video on how to use Vital. If you're interested in learning the basics of using Vital, then check out that video in the link below. I show you how to use it building one of the most popular drum and bass sounds right now, which is the Foghorn. But the concepts I show you can be applied to pretty much any sound. I'm just showing you the basics of how to use the synth. So check it out. Beginner's tutorial on Vital. So if you're on the Mac, then go to the top right menu on Serum and then choose Show Serum Presets Folder. A Finder window then pops up showing the Wavetables folder under Serum. And then you can click the Folder view under Finder to look for the exact location. And we can see that it is found under the Library folder in Audio, under Presets. X for records and serum presets. And then you'll find a tables folder, which is where the wavetables are located. Then in Vital, just click on the wavetable drop down, click on add folder, and then find the folder with your wavetables. Again, it's under your library, audio, presets, X for records, serum presets, and tables. Then click open, and voila, now your serum wavetables are in Vital. Have fun. So now you can take advantage of all of Serum's wavetables as well as Vital's interesting wave shaping parameters. So let's choose one of Serum's digital waveforms. Uh, one of my favorite distorted bass dropper. And then we can just pull the LFO to modulate the wavetable position here. And we'll just make it uh, four bars. Let's start it here. And then go into one of the wave shaping parameters. Smear is pretty good. So I could imagine being able to create some pretty interesting reese sounds by using this. So let's go into unison mode.
So we'll have to go into another uh, video to explore creating some nasty sounds using Serum's wavetables and Vital's wave shaping awesomeness. All right, so I hope this video helped. Once again, my name is Stranger. I do music tutorials on drum and bass, bass music, UK garage, all that good stuff. So if you enjoyed my content, then hopefully I'll see you at my next video. Peace.